Hello, my friends. Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Got a little uh, project for you today, which is uh, rebuilding a grapple bucket. So it's kind of a metalworking project, fabrication project, and rebuilding or maintaining equipment project, all wrapped into one. Hope you'll enjoy it, and we'll get started right after this. <music> Well, my friends, I didn't show this at the beginning, but I cut this grapple off of this old bucket. This was my grapple bucket. Actually, right there is how it was attached. I just took a cutoff wheel on the little hand grinder there and cut off the welds. This thing is way too far gone to salvage. It was bad shape when I built it, and it's just unrepairable at this point. So this is going to go to the uh, recycler and I'm going to use a different old bucket to make a new grapple bucket. And that's where we're headed right now. But right now I just got to get this out of the way. So I'm going to haul this to the scrap pile. I just showed you that uh, the old bucket is in far worse shape than this bucket. I'm going to be building a new grapple bucket with this bucket, even though it's in kind of bad shape too. You can see over here there's a big crack, and it's bent pretty bad right over here, and the back seam across there looks like it's in problematic also uh, in terms of maybe it's some places it's broke loose. The front lip is, uh, the front lip is a little twisty like that. So I'm going to first see if what I can do about straightening some of these problems, even though I'm not sure I can straighten them. I'm going to give it a try and then try to weld up the bad spots and then put the new grapple on. So that's the, that's the plan of attack. Whether the plan goes that way or not, I can't say for sure. I'm going to start with the hearing protection because it's going to get loud. I'm also going to have eye protection because this could throw some sparks. Well, it's actually working a little bit. It's not uh, setting the world on fire, but it's working. That thing is heavy. It's getting a little bit better, but not a whole lot. That's way harder than it looks. That thing's heavy and it moves the whole thing. That's about all I needed that for a little while anyway. I might try some more. It's a little straighter than it was, but it could sure use some more too. I know most people would use heat to try to bend this and, and I would too, except for the fact that I don't have much oxygen and uh, settling left in my tanks. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna take as much as I have left to heat that up. And I'd prefer to save it for a different use if I can save it. But if not, I'll have to get that out. Right now, I'm going to see if I can bend this area up right in here. I don't know that it'll work, but I'm going to give it a try. It's pretty close now. I can almost weld it, but not quite. I think I might be able to clamp it into place now, grind it out and weld it. I'm going to give you a close-up of the welds that are already on this. I don't consider myself to be a great welder, but I can tell you for sure I can't do no worse. All right, hold on to your stomachs. Going handheld here. 
and you can see all this weld built up all the way out here and here and it's all puddled up it's just a mess but this one even shows it better look at this weld over here look how bad this is pitiful in it uh, yeah I don't consider myself a welder but I don't have to work very hard to beat this I don't know where this bucket came from I didn't do those welds I can tell you for sure but anyway I'm gonna see what I can do about improving the situation well I have uh, tried to clamp this back together putting some clamps on it on and steel under it and it gets pretty darn close and probably close enough for my purposes but I think I might do better if I grind a bunch of stuff out of the way here and make a V groove where I can weld real good. So I'm going to start with that. Brother John He is a poor hard working man His life was hard but he does the best he can, he prays to God, just to thank him for his bread. What I'm amazed at is that, I don't know where this bucket came from, but obviously it came from somebody who operates some kind of heavy equipment. And I can't imagine anybody operating heavy equipment that can't weld better than that. I mean, that is some pathetic welding. I need a big six inch grinder instead of this little four inch grinder. We'll get it off there or get some of it off there anyway. And the roof over his head, Brother John. Lost his wife when the fever came around. The gentle girl, oh, he laid her in the ground. She was his life say again that's the worst welding I've ever seen in my life what I would call it is decoration chicken poop weld in other words they just decorated the whole area with just chicken poop weld and it does does nothing at all you know the crack is right there that's the place where the weld needs to be out here two inches away or three inches away ain't gonna do a thing it's the worst I've ever seen and her dying hit him hard Till he heard the voice of God Brother John Trouble on earth is ending All your sorrows soon will be gone You're a good man Well I probably spent 10 minutes grinding that and you can look at it close and see that it's horrible still. Let me show it to you. Well, there you go. You can see that it's really bad and it's still deep. You know, I'm trying to get rid of all of that, get it down to bare metal so that when I weld it, it'll be halfway decent. It is pitiful. I'm telling you, it's pitiful. It's really bad. So I'm going to do some more grinding. I don't think I'm going to film the rest of it, but I'm going to get that down to relatively smooth metal and then press it together and then weld it up. Well, my friends, I spent at least 30 or 40 more minutes grinding this off. It was the hardest thing I've ever ground off. There was so much weld build up on that. It was, it was at least a quarter inch deep. And it was all that chicken poop looking junk. Just absolutely pitiful. I've got it ground down for the most part down to bare metal. I think I can see a spot right in here where maybe I still have some more. And maybe right in here. But overall it's pretty darn good. And I've tried to grind a bevel to it also. So hopefully I can push this back in place. And at least tack it in place so I can... Uh, hold it you know there and then weld it all up so that's the plan let's see if it works well quite honestly I'm afraid to look at the back side I know the back side's got to be almost as bad but I'm gonna just see if I can get this clamp together and get it tack welded uh, my gosh that was hard I ain't kidding you I don't know that I've done anything grinding wise as hard as that well, it's not clamping together as well as I was hoping. I'm going to try to hit it while it's clamped under pressure to see if that will bend it some more.
that might have helped it a little bit. You did all you could and they're calling you home now, Brother John. It might be ground, it might be catching on the backside, so I think I'm gonna take this all apart, flip it over, and see if it's catching on the back. I kind of think it is. Well, I have it flipped up there. It's pretty bad. I don't think it's catching on anything too much, but it's going to take a lot to clamp that. It's in, this bucket's in as bad a shape as the other one, I think. But at least it'll work if I can get it welded together. I'm going to just grind out a lot of this and see if that'll help it go together. Well, here goes nothing. I'm going to try to tack it in place with some 7018. amount of stress I will say that for sure I melted through on that backside and I filled up the hole that I melted and kept it going I don't know if that's good enough or not I have a feeling it might crack and break when I take this loose but I'm in no worse position than I was before I started late one day he was working in the field the sun was low and the earth was cool and still he heard his wife. My guess is that little tack weld is better than all the weld that was put on it before. Colin, come join me now. He fell beside his plow, Brother John. Trouble on earth is ending All your sorrows soon will be gone You were a good man You did all you could I took the grinder wire wheel to it, cleaned it up a little bit Now I'm going to go over it with one more pass of the 7018 and that ought to do it Definitely better than what was done before they're calling you home now, Brother John. I'll give you a close-up look at that uh, before I clean it up. Okay, you can see there it's a fairly wide weld because the crack had widened out quite a bit. But you can see there, there's, you know, I don't have that bunch of daubs of junk on there. They had it daubed out all this far on both sides. It was daubed out all the way around here. Just a mess. And there's no, no reason to put weld out there. That's not holding anything. So now we'll clean that up and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, there's a close-up of it. You know, it ain't a great weld. I'm not a welder, but on the other hand, it ain't just a big bunch of chicken crap popped up on, like popcorn, popping on top of the stuff. That doesn't do any good at all. This weld penetrated and went way down in there. Now I'll turn it over on the other side, clean it up, and do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to weld over on that corner. That That's a different piece of steel, and it's at a different angle. It goes across at an angle. It, I can't get to the weld on, from the other side, so I'm just going to weld it up anyway and see what happens. Soon we'll be gone. You were a good man. You did all you could and they're calling you home now, Brother John. Well, I wouldn't call that a great job, but it's ten times better than it was.
Well, a few weeks have passed because of the bad weather and various and sundry other things I had to do, and it's just been sitting a while. So it's time to get this grapple bucket back together, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Gotta get the right pins in the right holes. Well, you heard a song about a horse or two. Well, here's one more. Well, I think I found the right pin for the other side now. That'd be better than the one that we had on there. And uh, I think it'll work. It's a little rusty, but I think it'll go. Yep, it does. Now what I'm going to do is put a little wire tie around these just to keep it so it doesn't slide off. And I think I'll just use a regular wire tie. I think it'll work. I haven't tried tying these on with wire ties before. I've used just regular wire in the past. That's good and bad too, but this, this would be easy if it'll work. Again, does it work? I don't know. We're, we're going to find out. I'm going to just tie it down with that. That will keep it from pulling out, I think, is all it really amounts to. And, uh, you know, it's not so much for strength as it is just to keep the pin from getting popped out. Well, we're ready to hook it up to the bobcat and try it out and see if it still works. I would assume it has to work. I don't think there's anything else wrong. Other than these hoses are just about wore out. These hoses are getting pretty bad. But as long as they're not leaking, they're, not, they're still working. So I'm not going to worry about it until they fail. Well, I can see that we have it on the bobcat there. And we've got the bobcat backed out of the shop. There's logs right down here that we're going to go pick up and move them around in a different place. I'm also going to pick up that other bucket over there and move it. And you'll, so you'll get to see how the uh, grapple bucket works. The finest horse you've ever seen. His name was Phantom 614. A proud young stallion with head held high. His cold light satin under candlelight. His mane and tail, oh, how they sheen. His name was Phantom 614. Hopefully from that you can see that the uh, grapple bucket is back in business. It works really good. Even Sadie's happy about it. I went ahead and taped these two hoses together, but I still need something to kind of guide them and hold them up. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with that. I used to have a ring on here, but the ring kind of wore on the hoses, so I don't know. I don't really don't know what the best answer is for that. Well, if you've enjoyed seeing how I made the grapple bucket work again, please give me a thumbs up and we will see you on the next video. Thank you very much. Yeah.